Hello friends, it's Lisa. And before you, you see my wax empties for the month of September. I wanted to show you an opening shot of the empty jars all together. Now I'm gonna get in front of the camera and go through each of the jars one by one. Okay, so I burned quite a few candles in September and we were even gone for the um, Labor Day weekend at the beginning of September, so I didn't burn candles at all that weekend. So I think I did pretty well. Let me show you what I've burned. First up, we have carrot cake. I'll tell you what, I bought a lot of these country label Yankee candles. I've gotten them at the outlet. You can tell by the yellow sticker on the bottom. They smell amazing. They look like they're loaded with wax. I think they are, you know, loaded. They've got a strong scent, but their wicks, it's like they're drowning. And so, you know, I'll pour off some of the wax. I'll do all types of things to try to get that wick going. And I can't remember if I pour it out of here maybe once, twice. After a while, you know, you just get tired of fight, fighting it. The smell was good, but it wasn't as strong as what it could have been because of the low flame. When I put just this little bit, whenever I get to the end, um, I'm going to go get my hot plate to show you. So when my candles are finished burning, I have this hot plate sitting in my bedroom on my dresser and I'll just put it on there and I'll get another three, four days worth of scent throw from a candle. Doesn't take any work from me. It's not like I'm digging out the wax to make tart things. I just set my candle on, er, on here and I get additional scent. Now, um, this one, I set it on here. Oh my word, it was so strong. In the cinnamon in here and the spices were just, wonderful. I mean, I loved it when it was sitting on this warmer and I was just really disappointed in the flame. I've heard from one of my subscribers that he calls, uh, that he says that the country kitchen jar has limp wicks and I think so. So let's go on to my next candle, Greenhouse. I love the scent. My daughter burned it, um, almost all summer and into the fall. This was in her room, so, you know, it went through it as much as she wanted to burn it. And she really, really liked the scent. I had wanted to move it to other rooms and she didn't want to let me because she loved it. Although, it threw wonderful in her room, but I definitely know it could not fill a large room. It did fill her room, but it's a, a light floral green scent. Um, I think it's appropriate for uh, smaller bedrooms or bedrooms. Let's see, sweetest strawberry. This I loved, loved this candle. My husband didn't. He's he. Um, I was burning it one night and he said something like, "I can't even smell that candle." I'm like, "What? Are you kidding me?" Because I burned this in the room that I work um, at my computer on, and it's over in another corner opposite of me and. I would just get these whiffs of sweet strawberry and I loved this candle. So, you know, so I guess sometimes not all scents are for all people, but I love that candle. I would buy it again. Apple pumpkin. This one, <laughs> oh my work, can you see the height of that wick on that one? I guess the last burn was a long one. Uh, this candle, I had high hopes for it and it smells so good on cold sniff, but the throw wasn't as strong as what I was expecting. I would say it was a light medium throw. So like the scent. Okay. Banana net. I got this at the outlet is a two wick paraffin. I think I made a mistake with this one in that I burned it in my large living area and I couldn't really smell it. Um, I should have put this in the bedroom so that I could have appreciated it. Um, it got, it got lost in that, the large room. I'm sure, you know, it added fragrance and it was a background note to the other ones that were burning in there. 
but um because everybody else raved about this candle so i don't know if i can give it a true review because i didn't really separate it and uh put it into a more normal size room to distinguish the notes and that but it burned beautifully and i liked it so um let's see okay i'm not going to say much about this colonial candles patchouli I've done separate videos on this, so I feel like I've talked about it to death. Love it. Same with Colonial Candles, Tobacco, and Honey. Um, Country Kitchen Caramel Pecan. My, this is the candle my husband chose. And it's Country Kitchen label, yellow label. Um, struggled with the wick on this one. I know I poured some off of here and I think we got it going okay, but the problem would come back intermittently. I just, you know, when I want to burn a candle, not put it on a warmer, I want it to burn right. And so these country kitchen ones have been a bit disappointing. I actually, I don't know, I think my good reviews on uh, for Yankee Candles so far are Greenhouse and Sweet Strawberry. This one is... Bonaire Bay Beach by Yankee Candle. I got this one at 75% off. Plus, I think the coupon was good at the during this time. I don't know. Or there was an extra percent off or something. I mean, I got it ridiculously cheap. I came home. My husband, he loved the jars. And he's like, why didn't you get more of those? You should have got more of those. And the burn on this, the throw is light. The throw is light. I mean, I would rather have Bath and Body Works suntan or, you know, um, for a beach scent. It just wasn't strong enough for my taste. This is Colonial Candles Farmer Market. It threw on a light medium side and the scent was fruity. Just a mixture of fruits. Um, but it wasn't spectacular to me. It wasn't one of my favorites. And I probably would not repurchase it because they have so many other scents that are my favorites and so many scents that I haven't tried. So this is, would not be a repurchase for me, which I think it's retired anyway. Citron and Cedarwood by Bath and Body Works. This is a male cologne scent. Oh, a piece of glue is in there. Um, it's a male cologne scent. I, um, I'm trying to think about what I want to say about it. It's okay. It's not one I'm going to rave about. It threw, to me, just okay. It was not one of the overpowering ones. It was just an okay men's cologne scent. If it came out again, I might repurchase it because it's not like I didn't like it. It's not like it didn't perform. It performed. I liked it okay. I'm just not going to rave about it. Yankee Candles Macintosh. Liked this candle. Love, I mean, you know, it's a pure apple, crisp apple scent. Oh, I just wish this thing threw better. Um, if you saw my video in my open living area, I was burning four candles at a time to uh, scent that area. So the Macintosh, um, like it but you know i think it's a candle it throws but it's more suitable for a bedroom where you can really distinguish the notes yankee candle be thankful now if you saw my review on this i was not too keen on this it's supposed to be um it's supposed to, yeah so a lot of people say they like be thankful this was a yellow one from the outlet um I thought it smelled like sweet potato, like a sweet potato pie or, you know, not real heavy on the spices, just more sweet potato. And the more I burned it, the more I liked it, it grew on me um, because I had it out in my main living room with some of the apples and I moved it to my bedroom. And I'm trying to think of what, maybe when I had carrot, the end of carrot cake, or maybe I had the end of, I don't know, maybe I'd... It was, it just, I liked it. Um, 
it was so good in my bedroom. And when I set it on the warmer, it was good. I love the scent from it. So you know what? I would actually repurchase this one again. Okay, another country kitchen one that was a dud. This is maple walnut. Got this at the semi-annual sale. It was only available online. It had, like everybody gave it a five-star review. It had nothing bad to say about it. Of course, there were only like eight reviews. But they were like, it was the strongest candle they ever burned. Of course, I put it out in my main living room. And I couldn't smell it. Ugh. So, and the wick. You know, another wick one. So I'm like, oh, I give up. I give up on this candle. So what I did is I have, this is a jar I've had since the 90s. I don't, I don't think I got it at Yankee Candle. It might be one sold by Yankee at the time, but I never lived near a Yankee Candle store. Um, any type of Yankees I got um, in my early years were at um, an Amish store, Hallmark, that kind of thing. So anyway, your jar fits perfectly in here and uh, you warm it, you know, it, he throws scent that way. It melts all the wax. So even putting it in there, um, you know, putting it in there, the scent throw should have been out of this world and it just, it really wasn't. So I don't know, maybe I should have moved it into the bedroom, but with the uh, flame performance, I was over it. Okay. Okay, so I went through two wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. One was Lake something. I can't remember. I'm going to have to link it in the text box. I still have the candle that matches this. Anyway, it's a masculine scent. They no longer sell it. It's probably from a year and a half ago. I really liked it. This is one that... Most times I use these candles in my powder room. I can smell them for the first couple of days, then I never smell them again. And I don't go in my powder room every day, so it's not like I'm getting immune to the scent. Um, so I might even go in it just once a week to clean it or whatever. So, so I think that those, the wallflowers just don't throw that great, is what I think. But this one, like every single time and it lasted forever i swear it was in the thing for like six weeks or longer but it was wonderful the other one and i don't have it here's Moroccan market from i think that was also like a year and a half ago oh my word that was so good <gasps> oh if i would have only have known i would have like stocked up on those because it was the exotic you know combination of sandalwoods and all that and let me tell you, that was another one that threw the whole time. I had it in um, my guest bedroom, and when I would walk in, every single time I could smell it. Ah, that doesn't happen very often with Bath & Body Works. This is an air wick one. It's like clean linen, and, you know, I think the air wick ones work better. You know, it's an older one, but I think it works better. Then I just had a ton of voltives and tea lights um, that I went through. You know, nothing, no real standouts. I use them in my, um, I use these to burn my oil, um, my essential oils in my oil warmer. And, well, you know, not essential oils, they're Yankee candle oils. So I use the autumn leaves candle to burn the autumn leaves oil. And, you know, I had a ton of these autumn leaves um, votives because I believe I filled the votive holder twice with autumn leaves. And um, I have a bunch of the Comfort Cedar Wood and there's another one that I had got that's from the slime because that's the next scent that's going in. And I burned vanilla chai and Macintosh. But I burned all these Voldives. Um, I either threw them in my warmer or, um, and they work great that way. They work great. So, but nothing really stand out for me, um, except for the autumn leaves. So anyway, that is it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.